the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Once upon a time, in the land of Narnia, there was a magical wardrobe that held a secret. It was said that if you walked into the wardrobe and pushed past the fur coats, you would find yourself in a magical world full of talking animals, mythical creatures, and endless adventures. One day, four siblings, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, stumbled upon the wardrobe while playing a game of hide-and-seek. They decided to explore it and were amazed when they found themselves in a magical world covered in snow, ruled by the White Witch. The White Witch was a cruel and powerful ruler who had cursed Narnia with eternal winter. She had made a deal with the evil creatures of Narnia, promising to give them power in exchange for her own continued rule. The animals lived in fear, waiting for the arrival of four humans who were prophesied to save them from the witch's tyranny. When the siblings arrived in Narnia, they were met by a kind and brave lion named Aslan. Aslan had been waiting for them and knew that they were the chosen ones who could defeat the White Witch and bring back the beauty of Narnia. Aslan welcomed them and promised to help them in their mission. The siblings soon realized that they were not alone in Narnia. They met talking animals, including Mr. and Mrs. Beaver, who told them about the prophecy and how the witch had cast a spell to make sure that no humans would ever rule Narnia. But they also learned that the spell had a loophole, it did not apply to those who came from another world, like the siblings. The White Witch soon found out about the siblings and became determined to stop them from fulfilling the prophecy. She tricked Edmund into betraying his siblings promising him power and treats in exchange for their capture. Edmund, who had always felt overshadowed by his siblings, fell for the witch's lies and led her to Aslan. Aslan was captured and sentenced to death by the witch, who believed that she could win the war against the humans and take over Narnia once and for all. The siblings, devastated by Aslan's death, were ready to give up hope. But when the witch and her army came to attack them, they found that Aslan had come back to life and was leading an army of magical creatures to defeat the witch and restore peace to Narnia. In the epic battle that followed, the siblings fought bravely alongside Aslan and the creatures of Narnia. They defeated the witch's army, but the witch herself managed to escape. However, Narnia was finally free from her tyranny, and the siblings were crowned as the rightful kings and queens of Narnia. Years went by and the siblings ruled Narnia with kindness and justice. They grew up to become wise and compassionate leaders, but they never forgot the magic of Narnia and the lessons they had learned there. And whenever they looked at the magical wardrobe, they smiled, knowing that they had been part of a world where anything was possible. As the years passed, the siblings returned to their own world, but they never forgot about Narnia. They missed their magical world and the friends they had made there. They often talked about Narnia and how much they wished they could go back. One day, 
when they were all grown up, they stumbled upon the wardrobe again. They opened it and found that it was still as magical as ever. They walked through it and found themselves in Narnia once again. This time, however, they were much older and wiser. They knew that they could not stay in Narnia forever, but they wanted to visit their old friends and make sure that everything was still as it should be. They found that Narnia had changed since they had left. It had become even more magical, and the animals and creatures were even more friendly and welcoming. They were happy to see their old friends and to find that Narnia was still a place of wonder and beauty. As they explored Narnia, they came across a group of young children who had stumbled upon the wardrobe, just as they had so many years ago. The siblings knew that these children were the new chosen ones, the ones who would save Narnia from any future threats. They decided to help these children on their mission and to teach them about the magic of Narnia. Together, the siblings and the new chosen ones defeated any threats that came to Narnia, and they ruled the land with kindness and justice, just as they had before. And even though they knew that they would have to return to their own world eventually, they were happy to know that they could always come back to Narnia through the magical wardrobe. They knew that Narnia would always hold a special place in their hearts, and that it would always be a place of wonder, magic, and adventure.